What is up, Diablo fans? Five here, and welcome back to the next episode of Push It to the Limit, episode 15. Um, today, we are on Greater Rift 15, and I'm actually kind of excited because season two is about to end on PC. So what that means is that we are going to be getting the patch on PS4 very, very soon. We're going to be able to get all the new legendary gems for uh, season three before PC players be able to get it. So that's what I'm really excited about. Be able to hop on and see the new stuff, get the new design. I cannot wait to do the Barbarian and be able to do World Win again. That is going to be fun and exciting because, uh, you know, everybody does miss, you know, being uh, doing spin to win and stuff like that. So that is going to be a lot of fun. I'm super, you know, excited about that. Also, uh, I decided to pick up MLB The Show. Uh, I am a huge baseball fanatic, love baseball, always good opening day in Cincinnati. Um, here it's like a national holiday where uh, they have this huge parade, you know, some work shut down. Um, I know uh, a few people where they work at, if you have opening day tickets, um, you don't have to go to work. You just have to show your opening day tickets and you get to leave at noon. So it's really, really cool and you get paid for the whole day. So it's, you know, just a big thing down here in Cincinnati since the Reds were the first professional baseball team in 1869. So that's going to be excited for Monday. I cannot wait to go. Um, work is actually going to let me have off. I have to switch one of my off days, though, um, to be able to go. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, so there's going to be some videos of that. Um, and um, we're just going to be working on our other uh, characters or other tunes. Especially the barb. I really want to get all my tunes uh, geared and ready for um, the new season, season three for uh, PlayStation. Um, right now, I can only do T6 on one character, which that's kind of terrible. Um, so I'm definitely looking for uh, for some gear for the uh, barbarian and stuff like that, and possibly my uh, witch doctor. Witch doctor can do like like I think T4. Or something else like that so plus i need to get all my gems upgraded uh before for the new season and sorry about that with my phone i'll throw this. sorry you guys have been still enjoying you know the wonderful world of diablo um it's just i have to take a break sometimes from it because when you just play it and you play it such at a i wouldn't say i had a high competitive level but when you just you know grind and grind and grind for hours upon hours you know, you start to get uh, a little bit burned out, you get a little annoyed and stuff like that. So um, that's why I took a break for a couple days of not playing. Uh, I've been playing other games. I've been playing like FIFA and uh, baseball that came out. So that is what I have been doing. Oh, and I've been playing uh, World of Warships. Uh, I got into the beta, which uh, you just battle as your, your, you know, a carrier, destroyer, um, an aircraft carrier also. And you just, you just go around and do it's pvp you destroy other ships it's pretty cool uh if you guys like to see something like that on the channel please let me know because i'd be more than happy to show that um so once things start you know happening uh with work and everything else like that we will be doing more live streaming we'll be doing more stuff on the channel and also when the uh when the new surprises that are coming um that i'll talk to you guys about in a week uh there's gonna be some changes done to the to uh, my channel and stuff like that. I'm not leaving, but uh, there's been more opportunities. So we're definitely gonna always take up opportunities and everything else like that. So pretty excited about that. Um, next uh, patch, this coming up patch, Wizard is going to be insane. A lot of my friends are actually switching over to the Wizard um, to play in season three on PC. I'm not, you know, I do like the wizard, um, but that was more like the, the, the critical mass and the full Archon build. I miss having um, just uh, unlimited Archon back in the day in vanilla. That was just, it was just so easy if you just wanted to relax and just do a little bit of farming, you know, maybe get some uh, like gold that you can sell in the uh, auction house and stuff like that. That was uh, really the build that I liked. And also I was able to... Uh, multi-box that because I did multi-boxing um, back in the day which was a lot of fun I was trying to uh, get all my characters up to Paragon 100 but that didn't happen with uh, Diablo coming out on console and then also going to BlizzCon and the move and stuff like that before uh, Reaper of Souls came out 
So, but nonetheless, I mean, I'm having a blast still playing now. Um, but I need to look into and see what the the uh, builds are going to be, and what are the uh, what are some of the guides saying of what's going to be better? Because maybe this might not be the best build. I don't even know if this is still a viable build um, either. Because that's how like much I have not yet uh, haven't played any wizard. It's mostly been Barb and uh, Demon Hunter. And, and the Monk. I did play a little bit of the Monk this season. It just, I couldn't get, I just didn't like the play style anymore. I like the, I, I still prefer the old play style. But once we get to 85-90%, uh, we are going to take a break. So we just go up one greater rift level. So uh, if you guys are new to the channel, um, usually I'll just take a break and come right back. Don't worry guys, it's not going to be like four minutes of me just, you know, sitting here doing nothing. I actually edited it out for you guys. So, we're almost there to the 90% point uh, where we do uh, take a break. And it'll probably be right here is when we do it. Not ready yet. And we're at 85%, which I don't want to uh, draw too much aggro and kill like uh, an elite and then we get screwed. Okay, so 88%, we are good. I will see you guys back around 4 minutes and 30 seconds. And welcome back. Hopefully you guys did not miss me too much. Let's go ahead and finish up this rift. Um, we are 88% um, with 4 minutes left. So we should be good. And let's not forget to uh, do our buffs. Like I tend to forget a lot of the times. So that's always funny when I do that. Um, at least I haven't ran into like a dead end yet. Um, that kind of, you know, messed up the time and stuff like that. So here we're at 93%. And we got, you know, some elite. We got a good good, good mob density right here. So we should be able to uh, spawn the boss real quick. And we have a shield pylon. Um, we just spawned the boss. So we should be good. And we're just going to just throw up our stuff. And just run around since we have uh, the shield. We don't have to worry about death or anything. Getting hurt throw our black ball and there he goes down so we did get two legendaries hopefully we did get something nope we only got one legendary I was gonna say we got two but it was actually a gem so this time let's upgrade our keystone to rank 16 so which that would be episode 16 and let's head back to town and take a look and see what legendary that we did get. Let's not forget to get our XP because I tend to do that quite a bit, actually. Sometimes I'm not the brightest. Uh, looks like we got a gold skin, which it's definitely not going to be able to beat out our... Ooh! And it's ancient. As you can tell by the ancient, it has got the gold border. And then also where it says level 70 below, it says ancient legendary chest armor. If you couldn't see the yellow border around it, the gold border. So we do have a ancient gold skin, um, which is not too bad. Uh, it's got all the great qualities, int, vite, all res, and 100% gold, but it does not have any sockets. Um, we would probably have to take off the blizzard damage uh, for wizard, and this would definitely be a very, very good uh, upgrade, except we would lose the three-piece set of all guilds. All guilds is very, very important with the three-piece set. If we go down here, you'll take a look, and it's a negative 15% damage from a monsters, uh, elite monster attacks, plus 15 damage to elite enemies. So that does help out. And then also you have the uh, set, the second set is uh, minus 7% damage from range and melee. So um, it's very tough to miss out one of them. Um, we could farm for a uh, rog. That'd be a big help. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'm getting back to everybody's comments. So if you guys do post below, I do love that. If you like it, go ahead and give it a like. If not, you know, no worries. You can put a dislike on it. And let me know the reason why that you did not like, did not like the video. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. That does help me out quite a bit. And I do enjoy it. But thank you guys so much. I'll see you in Sanctuary. And may the RNG be with you.